guys, it's Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and I'm here with my TBR for the Bibliothon Readathon which is happening this week June 21st to June 28th. So first up is the group book for the week um, which is going to be Paper Towns by John Green and I also had this as my red book uh, cover for the Rainbow Readathon which was happening this week so um, that was grand I was able to tie them up and I won't be probably even starting this until late Sunday night or Monday um, I'm not sure yet so uh, that is it's perfect for me that I'm able to tie them in together and then our next book is going to be um, the book a childhood book to reread so I have decided to reread the BFG by Roald Dahl and I'm not sure um, how many people have read the BFG I think everyone knows who Roald Dahl is but this is basically about this is the BFG, the big friendly giant. So it is about this little girl called Sophie and she gets taken away in the middle of the night by this um, giant who has, he has these massive ears that he's able to hear everything. And Sophie and the BFG, they kind of get on this mission to try and stop all these other giants who are evil giants and they actually eat children. So um, they're on a mission to try and stop these giants from eating any more children. So uh, it's a really good book. Um, I haven't read it in years, so I'm really looking forward to reading it again. And then I have your novella. So the, uh, no, no, either a novella, a prequel... Um, or a spin-off maybe but I've decided to go for a novella and I'm going to read The Queen by Kira Cass which is a novella of the selection series so um, I bought it on my Kindle so I've been really looking forward to reading that so I'll get around to that this week as well and it shouldn't take me it should literally only take me like not even a day to read because they're always really really short so that will be handy to read and get through and give me loads more time to read all the other books that I want to read and now we have, so there is an uh, option which is a book that you did not finish. Now I have never not finished a book. The only book that I didn't really finish was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, I wasn't really feeling it, uh, it was a bit hard for me so I kind of, I read the first half and then I kind of skimmed the second half. Um, and I, I knew what I knew what happened, I knew what went on. But I wasn't really enjoying it and I definitely don't want to reread it. It's just too heavy, it will take me too long. So I'm gonna go with kind of a series that I'm finding it difficult to motivate myself to finish. Um so some series that I've read and I just I'm not really pushed into finishing them. Like they're not really exciting me or anything. So I have here uh Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, which which is the sequel to the Hush Hush book. Now I actually got this just recently. The only reason I have this is because I went into this kind of bargain store um, up in the shopping centre and I got it for one fifty, two €2, Euro, uh, either one fifty or €2. Euro. Like, that's all this costs. So I was like, might as well, I need to read it. I might as well pick it up for one fifty. Um, so that's why I have this book. I read Hush Hush several years ago. I reread it either this year or the end of last year. I reread it because I wanted to to finish the series and then I never did I still didn't get around to getting Crescendo from the library so now I have it and now I'm finally going to read this book now I liked Hush Hush but uh, I didn't have it there wasn't anything wrong with it it's just one of those series that I don't really like it kind of slips out of my mind and I'm not like, oh, like I really need to finish it I need that book now 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 it's not that kind of series for me so uh, this is going to be my did not finish um to try and quicken up this I know there's another book after this but this is going to be um my did not finish for it and then we have what is next your book set in a foreign country so I live in Ireland so I'm going to read the woman who went to bed for a year which was on my library book haul and I need to finish it and this takes place in the UK so um it is in a different country to mine so this is basically about a woman whose uh, children grown-up children go to college and she goes to bed literally for a year she doesn't want to do anything she wants to take a well-earned break from all those years of rearing her children so that is what she's going to do it sounds absolutely hilarious and I can't all wait to read this because I think it's just gonna make me laugh um, and smile and everything in between it's just gonna it's gonna be really good I can tell it's gonna be really good and if it's not I'm gonna be really really disappointed so yeah <laughs> and then we have I'm going to try and combine um, a book I haven't a book genre I haven't read much of this year and a book topic that I'm really interested in or like an issue that I'm really interested in. 
So I have here that book that was on my June TBR, which is Carrie Hope Fletcher's All I Know Now. So this could be, this is definitely going to be a book genre that I haven't read much of, which is, you know, non-fiction kind of. It's not really a memoir, it's kind of an advice book, I guess, self-help maybe. So I don't really read much, so I just like Carrie, which is why I picked this book up. Um, so and again it's very much into um, you know growing up being confident uh, learning to love yourself all that kind of stuff which is our issues you know that I am that I am interested in and um, that I like to be involved in as well so that is going to be that and then if I have time I am going to read a book an arc copy of a book that I need to read which is about the Boko Haram which would be you know issues that I which would also be a book I haven't read much of, which is non-fiction, and issues that I'm interested in, which is obviously, you know, feminism and women's protection and women's rights, which, you know, everyone knows when Boko Haram kidnapped all those girls. So I think that would be a really, really interesting book to read. Um, I'm just going to have to see if I have time for it at the end. Um, we will see. I don't really know yet. So those are my books that I'm reading. I can't wait to read all of them because they're going to be really good, I can tell. Uh, well I really, really hope they're going to be really good so um, let me know if you're going to take part in it uh, let me know what you're reading link me to your videos because you know I'd love to watch them and I will see you guys again so bye